Hey there y'all, welcome back to Homie Collectibles channel and today we're going to take a look at the SH Figure Arts homemade style um, male Mewtwo from the Godzilla 2014 film. This is a figure that celebrates the 10th anniversary of the um, Godzilla 2014 film and this is the male Mewtwo, one of the villains in the film and this is a homemade, authentic, articulated SH Monster Arts inspired super puzzle action figure. It is authentic, it's made with paper plastic, it has metal pieces, it has um, soft and hard plast uh, paper plastic and as you can see right now it is in this really cool flying pose that it is on this wire stand right there you can see and it's holding the figure really well um, and this is a base that it comes with it is the um, airport scene from the Godzilla 2014 film and it's really cool because they're little miniature you know plane right there um, travel uh, or luggage carrier bus there's a truck right there there is the little um, uh, tool they use to get the passengers into the plane you can see the terminal right there and this here is actually a fire effect for the stand and there of course is the male Muto um, this is a really cool figure because it is um, sculpted colored designed really well it's made by the same people who do the um, Star Wars Vintage Collection figures. Um, so these are the accessories you get. This is the Muto figure right here. And um, we'll take a look at that for a second. Here's the base real quick once more. Get a little look at that. So this is included and the stand, there's the stand. And what's really cool about this, I'm sorry, the, the um, tool to hold the Muto in its flying pose is you can actually bend this and bend it to your will and have the Muto f in a flying pose. Um, it just, it just, for this, it just depends on how you balance it when you put the Muto figure on here. Just want to make sure you kind of balance it if you're putting this for a display. But you can see really nice details right there. Um, you know, it's really nice. You can get a little airport device there we actually looked up um just images of the airport from the movie and also in general airport images and if you hear that noise right now it's because it is lightning outside so hope that doesn't get too much in the way um i had to do this recording because i am very busy right now so this was the only time i got but here is the main main attraction the male muto and what is so awesome about this figure is it is posable it's super posable it's it's a character a kaiju that's never been done in a proper action figure form and we're the first ones to do it and it is awesome as you get so details right there you can see the head uh, right there that awesome red glow you can see there are the wings right there really cool there's the front of the face the neck you even got the arms the little uh arms right there you get the uh, main leg or i'm sorry the arm right there you can see all that detail and color and just a nice nice mix of everything there's the leg you can see the leg there is um added pieces for the toe right there there's the front of the figure there is the other side, just absolutely fantastic. There is the top. And what's really, um, one of the biggest challenges with this figure was the color. We didn't want it to be all black and boring, but we also didn't want it to look, make it look like a mess. So we used um, reference photos, photos of other toys that have been made of this to capture the best um, presentable likeness of this creature. Because it is a, this is a parasite uh, monster um, from the film. But what's really cool about this figure is the articulation. Um, so articulation, it has a joint for the jaw so the jaw can go up and down. You open the jaw, there's a tongue right there. You can see that. 
this there's a joint here for the neck so it can look all the way down like that all the way up these arms go forward and back same thing on the other side the um actually let's go with the arm this arm can go forward and it can go back um you just want to watch out for these wings here but it does go forward and back um you can't move them side to side but it's um, mainly this is the joint right there these arms here can go forward and back and this helps create that flying pose that you saw earlier same thing with the other side of the arm you, you know it can go forward and back um, and same thing with there's an articulation joint right there yep it is thundering the wings here also have articulation. They can go up and down. Um, same thing on the other side. You can pose them as you wish. You know, if you want him in that walking pose, you can do so as you wish. But it's really awesome that that option is there. There is two joints on the belly. There is this guy right here, which um, can go, you know, up and down. Not so much, you know, due to the sculpt and all that, but um, it is there. Here you can, the second joint, you can have him crouch down or crouch up. I hope you can see that pretty well. There we go. See how it does that? Crouch up like that, and then you can uh, crouch it like that. The legs can go forward and back. Um... Same thing on the other side. Uh, they can go forward and back. That's not showing too well. There we go. And so yeah, that's um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen points of articulation on this guy. How awesome is that? Um, really cool figure. Um, it's also uh, sized up pretty well. This is a smaller kaiju than the other um, Godzilla monsters and even though Godzilla himself and the Mewtwo in the same film. But we didn't want to make him too small where it's like you can't really like play with it. And we also wanted to add as much articulation as we can without really making the figure a mess. So yeah let's let's have him display over here just take a look at that it's really awesome so yeah all display possibilities right there you can create that airport scene from the film um let me zoom that out it is available on eBay. There is a link in the, there should be a link in the description below. If it's not there, just wait a while. Um, not a while, but sorry, just, um, it will be there in a day or two at when this video is posted out. Um, we just have to, uh, make sure that this figure is all set for purchase. Um, so yeah, it is available if you're interested to purchase it. Um, it is authentic as you can get, um, not a scam. It's a really cool figure, and even if you're not interested, you know, just thank you for checking this video out. Um, this is one of my favorite monsters. The Mutos are my favorite monsters in general, personally, and it was really cool to help work on this thing because there isn't a lot of Muto figures out there. So definitely check this one out if you want to see more pictures. Click on that eBay link below. There are some awesome pictures of it in um, all sorts of poses and details. So thanks for watching and have a good one.